Hello, y'all. It's CLA. What's up with you? How y'all doing? I'm back again with Taurus reading for the next five days. What's going to be that we need to talk about that's going to be going on with my Tauruses for the next five days that's very important for the Taurus to be recognized? What is the name? What's going to be going on the next five days? with my um, Taurus's spirit. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's fine and great. See, these cards have a lot to say. But we're going to let it do it, you know what I'm saying? We're going to let it do it. What's going to be going on with my Tauruses for the next five days that need to be addressed, taken care of for the next five days? Taurus, what's going on with you for the next five days? Okay. Here we go. This is my. Let's see here. What's going on with my Tauruses for the next five days, Spirit? Taurus, what's going on with you? Okay. We're having problems look like sleepings because we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The nine of swords, that's one. And then we have. Um, it looks like the seven of wands for the next card for the second day. Okay, what's next for the third day? Then we have the queen of cups for the third day. Um, let me move this out the way. Then we have what's next? Oops, they all want to fall. See, but we're gonna take the strength card. We have the strength card for the next reference to, which was the strength card. Okay, one more card for this. One more card. Oops, sorry y'all, we got a mess. Just a second. See, they just want to fly everywhere. That, that usually that's a lot to say for the next five days, Taurus. You doing too much. <laughs> okay. So let's pick one more card for Taurus, please. Just one card for Spirit Guide for Taurus, please. One more card. Okay, thank you so much. We have the page of ones for Taurus. Okay. We'll put the page of wands right there. That's the fifth card. Uh, we have room here. Okay. I think I'll do this. That's the very last card. The strength card. We're going to explain all that. Y'all see that? Hope y'all don't see me. Don't mind me because, you know, I'm, it's nighttime. <laughs> so, let me tell you, it's nighttime. Okay. We're going to go ahead and talk about this. Don't mind me, Taurus. Is how y'all doing? Sorry about that little inconvenience. Because, you know, I hate to be inconvenienced. And I know y'all do. Your time is valuable. At least that's the way I feel. And I think you feel the same way. But first of all, would y'all like share this video? I would appreciate it. The more likes it gets, the better it gets around. And people get to see it. And then uh, put me on the mark for it so I can help y'all out, you know, do the right thing. Um, we got the nine of, um, the nine of swords, okay? We're gonna talk about it. It's basically, some people have a nightmare, difficult sleeping. 
uh, could be past some stressful time is indicated. Some of you Tauruses are going through some, op some some very much some stressful times that's giving you nightmares, stuff going on in your life um, that shouldn't be. But let's see if we can get a card in reference to that to see why. That's a problem. I hope this is taping. <laughs> I'm on fire. I have a tendency to do that. Okay, can you clarify this for me? The Nine of Wands. What advice? Okay, for the Nine of Wands. Okay. We have here. It uh, looks like the Ten of Cups. A happy marriage. Happy ever after. Emotional contentment. A loving relationship with your children. Raising children wisely and successful. People you can trust. Um, some of you are having problems with some kids. That's what I'm feeling is some problems in homes when it comes to um, getting organized, but they're letting you know it will get better. It seemed like a nightmare now for your tours, but it will get better, okay? Then we have the, um, uh, that's right there, the Seven of Wands. Excuse me, y'all. The Seven of Wands basically represents keep your strength even and beliefs even though others challenge you. You are right. Even though you may be outnumbered, you will win. There's something in a subject, Taurus, that you're going to get attacked about. But you're going to win in the subject because you're not having it. Okay, what advice you want to give to this Taurus for this spirit? What advice you want to give Taurus for this spirit? You want to get to us. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, that was it. We have, okay, now we're talking. Do what you love. Recommendation for the higher quality of work, especially creative endeavors, being paid well for your craft, working well with others, and excellent. Reproduction. In other words, you're working well, even though you think you're not, you're going to work this situation out and it's going to be all roses because people just don't know that the things they do sometimes affect people and they're not looking at the feelings of it. So you got to make the happy deal out of something that seemed bad, but it'll get better in the day. They're letting you know that struggle will get better. Okay, then we have the Queen of Cups for the third day. And the Queen of Cups, we're going to talk about it. The Queen of Cups is a very, um, indicates a person or a situation where devotion and love are present. May indicate the presence of paranormal abilities. Some people um, that you're around might have paranormal abilities to tell you things that you need to hear, you know. Um, can I have a card for the Queen of Cups, please. Advice for the Queen of Cups. What do you have for the advice for the Queen of Cups here? Okay, the Queen of Cups. We have here, it says, the end of a situation that will, that brings relief, sadness, or both the opportunity for new happiness, a way off your shoulder, the end of addiction, and bad reaction to things. It's gonna be the end of it because you're not you're gonna let you're gonna say you just said trick it. I'm not doing that. I'm gonna change do something different with my abilities and my time and you're gonna make new beginnings. Okay. The strength card, you're gonna need strength in some situation on the fourth day. Why is the strength card here? Spirit, why is the strength card here for my Taurus? Why do they need strength? Okay. Um, the strength card unfolding fear, expecting the worst, though creating self fulfillment prophecies, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the situation. Sleepless nights, refocus your thoughts. You need to refocus your thoughts and have strengths. You know, the sleepless nights are starting to add up to you, and you don't deserve that. So, you the only one can make that better. You you have to change your patterns and let go of things that you fear. Um, the page of wands. Um, 
What is she doing here with the page of wands? Uh, okay, the page of wands is a good person that someone economic, uh, someone may bring you important news. Listen to this person here. Gonna Somebody's going to bring you some important news that you need to know about the situation. And it's gonna, they're going to have something that you're going to want to hear. Okay, why well, is the page of wands here? What do they have to say? What's important about their meeting up with the page of wands? What's going on here, spirit? Okay, let's see what it says. Okay, it says, the moon. Listen to your intuition and pay attention to the signs from the universe. For the divine, unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. You need to read Revelations. And it would make life, things more clearer to you. So you need to go on your Bible and read Revelations. Revelations at the end of the Bible. It will make things more clear to you. The sadness and why you're feeling the fear. Because some of you are afraid of things that may happen to you in the near future. And I don't blame you, but sometimes fear can make it come faster. So just remember, you got to let go of the fear. Any advice you give to my Taurus that you want to say? What advice do you give, Taurus? Okay, we have, um, here we go. It says, logic, perception, insightful. Okay, blurt. An exciting, intelligent challenge. Brilliant insight information that you need, but might be challenging to receive. Review all documents. Very careful. There's something you need to review and be very careful how you sign it or what. Because somebody's going to try to trick you, Taurus. So be very mindful of what you sign and clear that you make sure you read it. Because somebody does not have your best interests at heart. You might think they do, but they don't. Um, then at the bottom, hold on, move these cards. These cards have been wanting to talk all day. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But, okay, well, oh, let's see. Anything else that needs to be said? Okay, they're just flying out. Um, the father of the basket. Father Baskets came out. <laughs> okay, these are some cards that I'm new at. So I'm learning, so y'all bear with me, okay? And we're gonna talk about the Father of Baskets. It looks like someone is an older person um, that has done its time, you know, done its time, because a lot of people have done their time, you know, and. They're just done their time. Just a second, I'm gonna make sure. Um, Cause these cards are new to me. The F Father of the Baskets, 87. Um, okay, and it's in the, uh, uh, well. Okay, here we go. Basically, this is a meaning. The basket represents the um, nurturing father and provider on the positive side. He is kind, generous, uh, just very uh, reliable, resourceful, honest, and wise. On the negative side, he is emotional, manipulative, moody, self-destructive, and deceptive. In a reading, if he doesn't represent a little person with these qualities, then he represents these um, attributes. In other words, he has good sides to him. He's very reliable. There's a father that I feel that was very reliable to this tour that you could go to, but he also had the moments that he could change <laughs> real quick. Okay. Why is the father of the baskets came here? Why is the father of the baskets here, Spirit? Why is the father basket? Something flew up in there. Let's see. Um, daughter of coins. Looks like. See, daughter of coins. A celebration or something. 
Um, for the daughter of coins, that's just a, okay, just a second, I'm making sure. I check until I get used to these because I'm not all the way used to them, but they're interesting because they um, go back in our roots. Um, basically, this represents, okay, this is a daughter of coins, reminds us not to overlook or un, underestimate the importance of what may be considered the um, aspect of our lives. She is a reminder that it's often the little things that matter most. On the positive side, she is hard worker, committed, organized, and honest, viable person, traditional, and always wants to do what things need to be done. But on the negative side, she can be um, stubborn, joy, joyless, compulsive, fearful, and perfectionist. In this reading, if it doesn't represent little, oh my goodness. In other words, this daughter, of course, she's kind of like a perfectionist. And that seems to me a mother, well, father and daughter situation. Uh, very person that nurtured a person. Um, of Torin. Okay. We have here the four of sticks, but it came out the wrong way. Um, that's the craziest thing, the four of sticks. Came out the wrong way. Okay, the four of sticks, where you at? I see it. Hold on, y'all, just one second. Okay, the four of sticks. Basically, but it's in the reverse. On the next conflict, minor delays, family, dysfunctions, unconstructive, uh, very constructive, and criticism, council plan, inability, divided community, and feeling unwelcome. Okay, there's someone that feels unwelcome to this family, to the situation where, to this, um, basically, to the father, the daughter, and this person, this, ch this uh, four of sticks, they feel very uh, unwelcome for some reason. Um, why is the four of sticks like this? Why is the four of sticks here for the four? Okay. Well, what is that? It looks like the moon in the reverse, but hold on. Um, because it kind of represents us. I don't want to just, well, the way it looks like and what it is is two different things. Um, let's see, 72. I'm gonna make sure before I say it. And sometimes you gotta, this be the last one. Okay, but basically it's in the reverse, so on a negative thought, that's what I need to know because it's uh, uh, it could be highlighting the necessary to get treatment for anxiety and depression or face your fears, seek clarity. Someone needs help for their anxiety and their fears of being alone and by themselves for touring. They could be, um, they need to go seek help. So this tour, they're telling you, you need to go seek uh, help from a doctor, allegedly. I'm not a doctor, but that's what the card says. Allegedly, so don't get mad at the messenger. But anyway, that's your reading for now. We'll talk more. This is getting a little interesting. But thank you, and God bless y'all for watching. Remember I said, like this video. This is for your next Friday. Love you.